Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at Excalibur 57, illustrated by a young Joe Matarera. This is fun. This actually, I don't know if this is Joe Matt, Matt's first issue of Excalibur or not. Um, I probably should have checked that before I did the video, but oh well, here we go. This is cool, because Alan Davis just did 55 and 56, so... Um, Joe Madera, Madera, Joe Matt started at Marvel when he was like 16. Started, they started giving him like pinups and backup stories and stuff like that. And they told him when they, he graduated from high school, he would get an X book. And they kept their word and gave him Uncanny X Men. And how cool is that? How unprecedented! Like every teenager's dream. Imagine being in a high school and being like, "Oh my God, my my X Men, you know, story just came out." Like, he was doing, like, Marvel Comics Presents and things like that. But anyway, this is cool. Like, totally ambitious. I mean, we all know what Joe Mad would become, you know, uh, during his run on X-Men, eventually, uh, Battle Chasers, and all that good stuff. And uh, he hasn't been prominent in the industry forever, but he's one of those guys who's just, like, classic. He will always be loved. He, you can see the huge Art Adams influence um, on this. It almost has the ambition of like an Art Adams layout. Like I'm thinking classic X-Men number one or the great X-Men poster that Adams did. But um, so Matarera started out very heavily influenced by Art Adams. I mean, he's 16. He's definitely still developing his style. So then he moves on to a more manga influence and brings it to the X-Men and people embrace it after several years of just complaining and crapping on manga and not really being into that style. That's kind of hard to imagine now because I feel like manga influence and anime style, you know, with the big eyes and uh, speed lines and all that kind of stuff is so widely accepted, loved and appreciated in comics now. So good for you, Joe Maraderera. And I have to say, as an early artist, this is really good and ambitious. I love, like, you know, uh, when they challenge themselves to, I mean, you, your first shot is like a bird's eye view of the city and perspective with buildings and the camera slowly moving in. I mean, that's pretty ambitious, I have to say. So Alan Davis, okay, so this is Alan Davis leaving Excalibur, I think. Ellen Davis's plot. So this very well could be Joe Mad's first issue of Excalibur. How cool is that? Um, Ellen Davis did do the plot. Scott Labdell is the words. Joe Matarera is pencils. Veteran inker Joe Rubenstein. Um, not a big fan of Joe Rubenstein. I don't think he flatters many people. Um, but he is an industry veteran and maybe it was kind of good to put him on such a green newbie but of course i would have much rather seen terry austin or bob weachek or somebody like that and good but it is what it is and here we go and it's fun straight out the gate the characters look great i love his nightcrawler very fun you know like the teeth and the the grimaces and that kind of thing is definitely giving alan davis vibes but i'm also seeing like a, a more cartoony sort of playfulness to it Maybe the manga influence is already creeping in. I don't know. But I have to say, oh, fun. We get dinosaurs. That must have been thrilling for him as a young artist because who doesn't like to draw dinosaurs? All the great artists love to draw diamonds, dinosaurs. Simonson, Byrne, Cho, all draw amazing dinosaurs. I just remember just really liking his style and just being excited about this new artist. And I, I'm, I have to say I'm impressed. I have to say that it holds up pretty well compared, I mean, what, 30 years later? be interesting to have like a side by side to see where he went with this but you can sort of see the nuts and bolts of like you know his work and there's definitely a certain sort of energy there that you can see and the potential that he has as an artist and I think it's a lot of fun Gambit Jubilee of course guest starring the X-Men 
I kind of glazed over that on the cover, but, um, so how cool for him to draw Excalibur in the first issue as guest starring the X-Men. I mean, that's every budding artist's dream is to draw the X-Men, or mine was anyway. I think that ship has sailed, but never say never, right? This is definitely huge Art Adams vibes here, for sure. This is like an Art Adams thing. It's funny, I feel like a lot of artists use this as a crutch or just like an excuse to throw in something in the background. I think uh, Ed Piscor um, refers to it as a screen door, which is hysterical. But um, I think a lot of artists wound up just using it as sort of a crutch or a lazy way out. Whereas Art Adams sort of was using it just to add another layer of depth and texture to his art. But what do I know, right? Ba-boom. We end with a cliffhanger. So that's a fun issue of Excalibur 57. If you haven't checked it out, you need to add it to your collection. Early Joe Mad for all you Joe Mad fans. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. Thanks, guys.